Hello and welcome to day two of our course. So day one went off very nicely and I was truly, truly overwhelmed by the response I got. I mean, this, I got responses from people all over the globe. I mean, that's the world we're living in right now, isn't it? The, the global village. And I really appreciate it for those that, that gave me the kind and encouraging words. I didn't expect it, but I, I appreciate it. Now today we're going to continue building our, our app and what we're going to focus on today is setting up our development environment. So firstly, getting all the software that we need and secondly, setting up our, our, our folders for development. So let's firstly start with what you will need to start developing your app. So basically you need two types of computer programs to develop. The one is you need a place where you can type your code and secondly you need a place where you can run and test your code. Now as far as typing goes you can use just about any text editor. Now most Windows machines come with a text editor called Notepad or if you have a Mac machine you can use a program called text edit but I would recommend a program called brackets over both of these and I'll show you why sure, uh, shortly. Now brackets is freely available and it also makes your life much easier when you're coding and the best part is it's a small download that's just about a hundred megs so it's not going to really eat up your data. Now look at the code on the screen. Don't worry about what's written there, but just look at how beautifully this code is color coded. Now, everything is in a different color. Now that's what brackets does for you. Now let's look at the same exact same code in Notepad. Boom. See that? It's terrible. It doesn't look at all readable. It's difficult to read. Even soft, professional software developers can't work with something like this. Now that's why I recommend brackets for your coding. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need is a browser. Just about any browser that's on your computer, whether it's Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Microsoft Edge or even Internet Explorer. And that's about it. Surprise, surprise. That is all the software you're going to need to start developing your app. Now I've downloaded and installed brackets and I highly recommend you do that also. I'm not going to get into how to download and install it. I mean, it's a simple download, double click the file and then let your computer do the rest. So when you open up brackets, this is what you're going to see. You've got two parts. The first part is this big white area and the second part is this left column. Now in the left column is where you're going to see your files and folders and navigate between them. And in the large section in the middle is where you're going to actually type your code. The next thing we're going to do is to go into our file explorer and create a folder for our app. Now we go to the documents folder and in there create a new folder called quiz app. Now you can name this folder anything you want but I've named mine quiz app because that's the name of the actual app and for now that folder is going to be empty so when you go inside the folder you'll see there's nothing much going on inside there. Now that that is done, let's go back to brackets. Now in brackets, you go to the file menu and then click on open folder. Next, you go to the documents folder because remember, that's where our app folder is stored. And then just click once on quiz app and then click on open. Now it doesn't seem like anything happened but something significant happened behind the scenes. What we did is we showed brackets exactly where our app folder is going to be and where all its files are going to live. Now that we've shown brackets where our app is we're going to create our first file. 
So go into the left margin and right click and then click on new file. Now we're going to call this file index.html. Now take note of the name. It's all lowercase index, I-N-D-E-X dot H-T-M-L. You have to be careful about the name. Once you've typed it, hit enter. Now the moment you hit enter, you'll see there's a blinking cursor and the number one on your screen. That means you are ready to start typing. But we're not going to do any typing right now because we are still setting up. So let's go back to our file folder. When we go inside the quiz app folder, then you'll see the index.html file that we created right in there. Now the index file is going to be the file where we type our actual code. Now in case you're wondering about this name index, why does the file have the name index? Now index you can think of as the front door to your application. Whether it's a tiny website or a tiny little app or a giant application, a web application like Facebook, the server always first looks for index. It's like the default name. And when it finds index, then it runs the rest of your application. So let's recap. We've got our software, we've created our folder, and inside that folder, we've created our file index.html. And that's where we're going to start typing our code. So that means we are all set to go and we're going to start doing some actual coding in the next lesson. And I honestly can't wait.